Okay, so last week AWS just took a huge step forward in the generative AI race. They announced a whole bunch of new tools for developers and are giving away access to one of their AI tools completely for free. In today's video, I'll first provide a quick recap of the updates AWS announced last week, and then we'll dive into the top five AWS artificial intelligence and machine learning services I recommend learning. For each service, I'll be sharing what it does, why it's important, and how you can use it to build your own AWS Cloud project. Let's get into it. So starting off with the updates, one of the most exciting announcements is the general release of AWS Code Whisperer. You might have heard of this service before because it was announced back in June last year, but they've just made it free for everyone, which means you can now use it to generate code, provide recommendations, and identify issues, all without having a subscription plan. You can kind of think of Code Whisperer as your own AI coding companion, similar to GitHub Copilot. Next up, AWS announced Amazon Bedrock, which is a tool that helps developers build and scale generative AI applications without having to invest time and resources into training their own foundation models or FMs. It gives people easy access to FMs built by AI startups, including AI21 Labs and Stability AI, as well as Amazon's own set of FMs called Titan. Speaking of Amazon Titan, it's a family of models trained in-house by AWS, giving developers the opportunity to build powerful AI tools. There's currently two models models that have been launched, but probably with more to come in the future. At the time of recording this video, Amazon Bedrock and Amazon Titan don't seem to be available to the general public. But if you have a startup or business, you can fill in this sign up form to express your interest. So on the same day of all of those announcements, Amazon also released two AWS EC2 instances, one powered by the company's Inferentia 2 chips and one powered by AWS Trainium. By having instances that are tailored specifically towards AI and machine learning use cases, AWS will be able to deliver better performance whilst offering a lower cost. Now, I think it's pretty cool that AWS is providing the underlying resources to help customers build their generative AI applications, because there's definitely been a trend where companies are against their employees using public tools like ChatGPT in order to protect their private company information and avoid potential security breaches. There was even an article published recently where employees have admitted to using ChatGPT as a way to work multiple full-time jobs, but I feel like that's just a whole nother problem altogether. Anyways, now that you're up to speed with the latest updates, I'd like to share with you the top five AWS AI ML tools I recommend learning for 2023. As more and more companies start adopting AI into their workflows, we're going to see a greater demand for people who are up to date with the latest advancements. So whether you're a job seeker or someone already working in tech, familiarizing yourself with these AI ML tools can really give you an edge in the market. It's also just really fun to learn about as well. With all that being said, let's jump straight into the first service which is AWS Code Whisperer. As I mentioned earlier, AWS Code Whisperer is kind of like your own personal AI coding buddy. All you have to do is integrate it into an IDE like Visual Studio Code and then let it help you generate real-time code suggestions. What's really cool about it is that it helps you identify errors in your code and has built-in security scans to help you detect application vulnerabilities. The reason I recommend learning how to use Code Whisperer is because of how much faster it can help you write code. It will not only help you save a ton of time, but it can also make sure your code is written at a high quality. What What's even better is that AWS Code Whisperer is optimized for AWS APIs like Amazon EC2, AWS Lambda, and S3. So if you're using other AWS services in your application, Code Whisperer can help you work more seamlessly. To get started, you can check out this free online workshop where you'll learn how to build a fully fledged serverless application for image recognition. The workshop uses Code Whisperer and a bunch of other AWS services like Lambda, API Gateway, DynamoDB, and S3. I'll put a link to it in the description below, and if you decide to try it out, let me know how it goes. Next up, we have Amazon SageMaker. This was launched back in 2017, but has gone through significant improvements over the years. SageMaker is like a one-stop shop for creating, training, and deploying machine learning models on the cloud. You get access to Jupyter notebooks for writing code, building machine learning algorithms, and tools to fine-tune your models all in one place. Amazon has been in the tech space for a really long time, where it started as an online bookstore nearly 30 years years ago. And so Amazon SageMaker is built upon all the experience Amazon has gained from their own products. Anything from personalized shopping to custom recommendations, robotics, and so on. I'd recommend learning Amazon SageMaker because the service lets you tap into the power of machine learning without having to be an expert in the field. Companies like Airbnb, Grammarly, and Pinterest all use Amazon SageMaker to build and deploy their own models. And with the growing demand of people with machine learning expertise, learning Amazon SageMaker could be a really good start. If you're looking 
looking to get hands-on experience with Amazon SageMaker, you can check out this free AWS workshop that provides a great starting point. You'll begin the workshop by creating a SageMaker notebook instance and then interact with it through sample Jupyter notebooks, the AWS CLI, and the SageMaker console. And then throughout the workshop, you get to explore different data sets, create model training jobs, and set up endpoints to make predictions from those models. Another resource I'd recommend is this 12-hour Udemy course that teaches you about Amazon SageMaker, feature engineering, and other machine learning concepts. It does follow the curriculum for the AWS Machine Learning Certification exam, so once you complete the course, you could take the exam and get certified. The third AWS service I'd recommend is Amazon Recognition, which is specifically used to analyze images and videos. All you have to do is provide an image or video and recognition will identify the objects, people, text, and things around it. This can come in handy in many types of situations. For example, if a company wants to check how many people entering the office is wearing a mask, they can use Amazon Recognition to identify this through real-time video streams. So if you're interested in visual data analysis, I definitely think it's worth giving Amazon Recognition a try. And as always, the best way to learn is by getting hands on. AWS has two free tutorials that are about 10 minutes long and teaches you how to use Amazon recognition. In the first one, you'll learn how to detect, analyze, and compare faces. You'll be given an image, and then with recognition, you'll compare it with other images to see if the faces belong to the same person. And then in the second one, you'll analyze a 30-second video clip of an ultimate frisbee game. As I mentioned, both tutorials only take around 10 minutes each, so definitely give it a go if you're interested in learning more about Amazon recognition. Next, we have Amazon Lex, a fully managed AI service that makes it easy for you to create chatbots and conversational interfaces. It's kind of similar to ChatGPT in that it's designed to enable human-like interactions, but Amazon Lex focuses more on providing developers a platform to build conversational interfaces into their own applications. So every time you're on a website and you see a little chat window pop up asking if you have any questions, chances are it's probably built with a conversational AI service like Amazon Lex. As we've all seen with ChatGPT, chatbots are on the rise and can be a fast way to answer common questions or help complete a simple task. With Amazon Lex, you could build customer support systems, reservation booking tools, or even a personal assistant to increase your productivity. To get started, I'd recommend working through this hands-on tutorial that teaches you how to create a chatbot for a banking application. You can see that the tutorial will cost less than $2, and it takes about two hours to complete. And then once it's done, it should look something like this, and you can interact with it by typing in messages. Last but not least, we have Amazon Comprehend. This is one of my favorite AWS services because it's pretty much like your own AI-powered detective that can unlock hidden insights from text data, like documents, social media posts, and customer reviews. It uses sentiment analysis to understand emotional tone or sentiment expressed in certain sentences, which is quite important for companies who want to figure out how their customers feel about their products and services. Learning about Amazon Comprehend lets you dive deep into what customers are really saying without having to read one sentence at a time. And over time, as more data is generated, insights can then be provided with more accuracy. So if you're interested in Amazon Comprehend and want to get hands-on with it, you can take a look at this Comprehend Immersion Day workshop and work through the labs. This Immersion Day is a bit longer than all the other workshops, so definitely don't feel the pressure to complete everything all in one go. All right, so there you have it. Five AWS AI services to learn more about in 2023 and beyond. If you've watched this video all the way through, please give it a like and comment below which AWS service you're most interested in starting to learn. All right, bye for now.